Hi Libras, welcome back to my channel. This is your daily love direct reading guys. For your daily energies, career situation and relationship Libras, I'll be picking few cards guys. If you want a more detailed love reading Libras, you can watch that pick a card love reading that is coming right after this daily energy guys. Libra. So let's see what are these cards. It's the completed world. Eight of suns in reverse. And six of spheres. So with these cards guys. Libras in your uh, situation today. There are people or circumstances are such that. You feel that. Your opportunities or offers that you are getting in your career or uh, in your career situation or something to do in your personal life are simply lost to someone. Someone has that advantage in your situation. So th there may be people competing with you in your career or uh, in your personal life too. Maybe there are people... Uh, maybe this person or maybe someone else having that uh, jealousy or they are talking behind you. They are simply envying you and they are regretting your growth. Uh, they are, uh, you know that they do not have that good intentions on you guys. And I also see that there are great changes that are coming in your life today, Libras. Maybe in your career, maybe a change in workspace or change to a different place or a city. So some sudden changes and it is taking you towards something really positive and you are getting more than expected maybe the returns lucrative returns are there and however things are going today in your situation destiny is what is playing guys you see things are simply falling into place some kind of coincidences happening today and you are aligning your life is aligning with abundance and prosperity libras so that is what I see with these cards guys. So for a more detailed love reading Libra, stay tuned and watch that pick a card love reading. That is coming up right now guys. For your love reading guys, it's going to be like a pick a card. So this is your first card and this is your second card guys. So whichever uh, card you want to watch you can watch that before we start the reading whatever uh, doubts or questions you have in your mind you can think about it close your eyes meditate for a few seconds in silence then open your eyes and choose the card that comes to you first so that may answer your questions guys whatever it is so I will start the reading with the first card after a few seconds of silence. So let's start guys. I will keep this card here. Let's see what is the card for those who have chosen this. It's Hand of Fatima. Such a beautiful card here guys for your relationship so let's start with a few lines from the Rumi poetry uh, on which this card is based upon guys your soul and my soul are truly one soul I swear to our own soul I long for no one but you so that are the lines from Rumi poetry and uh, these this oracle card is based on this poetry guys the essence is what we read now so this oracle comes with a special guidance that 
what is being born in your life right now may be some changes in your consciousness as a seed perhaps a new way of beginning some new idea or belief whatever it is it is going to come to a maturity under that divine protection and you have to listen to your intuition and instincts today have some discernment who you involve with and how you choose to spend your time and energy so that guidance is there within you so you have to make your own choices of people and situation uh, you say yes and no to in your life so maybe for some of you i see that you are in a important phase maybe you are thinking whether you have to uh, make some important decisions uh yes or no questions are there in your heart so maybe your intuition is going to guide you today and you need not fear however things are going divine protection is always there so with that protection you can feel assured that things will go as it should and it is a time of great healing guys this card also stands for healing energy so in your situation whether it be your uh, physical healing maybe your healing from some illness or it may be uh, emotional healing whatever it is whatever unbalance you had till now you need not worry so things are simply settling and it is happening more easily now with that divine help so that help and protection is always there so you need not worry and think that you are unworthy of that divine intervention grace and love no all of us are equal in the eyes of the divine so we are all children of god so we will always have that guiding hand help and grace all along in our life so we just have to trust and receive be ready to receive that grace guys so that is what this card is about so you need not fear if you are in a position making some important decisions you need not fear the outcome you can listen to your instinct listen to your in- intuition and make that choice so that is what i see with this card guys for those who have chosen this card thank you for watching if this reading resonates please like and comment i'll be happy to know your suggestions guys i will see you tomorrow with another reading bye guys so let's see what is the other card here guys for those who have chosen this card chop wood so with this card the energy is that guys these are the times that big dreams that you have should lie dormant in your consciousness so you have to pay attention to more simpler things in life why we prune a tree because only then it will uh, grow with that much greater potential and it will give out that beautiful new blossoms so the mundane acts of uh, pulling away those leaves dead leaves watering soil and letting nature take its course even for a tree is a most important step in man- manifestation guys so taking your attention away from goal and bringing you into that state of receptivity so the deeper purpose here uh, what this card stands for is that you have to release that attachment you have towards your goals and go for that day to day activity whatever you need to do each and every day so when you go for that when you go for that simple things when those great dreams are manifesting that wonderful moments which bring you closer to what you seek you will be truly happy and you will be able to receive that total happiness so you have to go for the simpler things today guys so 
you have to remember that in a relationship in friendships we go through lulls that every day a task are at the center of awareness today so that is perfect now you can just uh, spend time with each other hold hands just speak loving words or sometimes even say nothing just stare into space pick up socks do few things together tell a ja- dumb joke or just be there with each other just breathe with each other so the simpler things just makes us to be present every day so just being here today with this person is what is important so everything will go well no need to worry so you have to just take that simpler steps today guys that is the meaning of this oracle card for you all guys for those who have chosen this deck so everything is fine everything will will begin to fall into place you need not worry but you have to go for that simpler things today that will work that magic so that is what i see guys with this card thank you for watching guys if this reading resonates please like and comment i'll be happy to know your suggestions i will see you tomorrow with another reading bye guys